but it should. First of all, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has come to support me today, especially those of you who have travelled many miles to be here. This is my story about how I got to know God and how he's helped me through my life so far. I've grown up in a Christian family, so I've been learning about God all my life. With my dad being a Baptist minister, he and my mum have taught me about Jesus and what it means to be a follower of him. I am thankful for my Christian family and friends, including the Hooper family, who we met when we moved to Lark Hill in 2016. I became best friends with Kimmy, and they have helped me through my walk of faith. My mum and Emily started running jam club at school. It was a great way to learn about Jesus, and some of my friends were interested and came along too. As I grew older, I started to understand more about what knowing Jesus is all about. I learned a lot through Holiday Club at my old church, and it showed me fun ways to worship him and learn more about the Bible. When we came to ABC, I started to go to Sunday school led by Jim and Sue, who always gave us delicious lollipops. Also at the Garrison Church in Tidworth, Maggie, who ran the Sunday school there, played a key part in my spiritual life. All this made me wonder how I could become a proper follower of him. So at seven years old, I prayed with my mum to say sorry for all the wrong things that I've done and invited Jesus into my life. As I continued to read the Bible verses each day, it gave me confidence to know that even though there are challenges I will face, God is always with me and will help me overcome them. A verse I learnt in Holiday Club was Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who leads and encourages our faith. This helps me remember to keep trusting him. Another verse that is important to me is John 3 verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I'm being baptized today because I want to show others that I have made this decision to be a Christian. I will always be a follower of God and try to live my life the right way by being respectful to others, honest and obeying his word. Great. So today we have heard of the work of God in the life of Emma, who comes now to be baptized. She's here because Jesus has found her and through the work of the Holy Spirit, she has discovered new life in him. The love of God has become real. The call of Christ has beckoned her, and the life of the Spirit has renewed her. So I'm going to ask Emma three questions that she might profess her faith as we come to baptize. So Emma, do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, confessing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I do. Do you turn from sin, reject evil, and intend to follow Christ all of your days? I do. And will you live within the fellowship of the church and serve Jesus in the world? I will. There's a couple of verses for you from Philippians chapter 6, verse 6, and then 9 to 11. And then it's Paul writing. He says, I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve what is excellent, be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, and filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ. To the glory and praise of God. So, Emma, as we have heard of your repentance of faith, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the crowd went wild. <laughs> Jim's going to pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that we have this opportunity to celebrate Believers' baptism here together as a family this morning, a family in your name. And we thank you for Emma, and we thank you that she has taken this step forward in her life. And Emma, know this, the Lord will always be with you. When times are tough, 
he will give you strength. When you need comfort, he will give you comfort. When you need peace, he will bring you peace. He will walk with you forever, and you will be one of his children forever. And we thank you, Lord, and we praise you, Lord, for this day and for this occasion and for Emma and her family. Thank you, Lord. Amen.